So here I have a quick video to show what this looks like from the field to the back office. This is a fielder working with an Ike device. So you can see handheld device, pretty small, pretty easy to walk around with, not carrying a big stick or any pencils or paper or clipboards. It's all contained right on that device itself. So I'll just kind of walk you through what that collection looks like on the actual screen of the Ike device itself. So this is the field and collection form that this fielder is using. This one's based on Pull Foreman. Um, it's just the Pull Foreman database, and it's going to be structured so the fielder can collect all the necessary information. So we'll start by going to the base of the poll and collecting a quick tag photo. This is just a, a just a simple basic photo of the information at the base of the poll, and then they just move down through the form. So collecting some basic information, uh, the poll type, the owner. Then we'll grab a GPS point while they're standing there. After they finish that, they'll move on through the form. And in this case, they're just gonna add a quick note here. We can add any additional fields that are needed. So if there's something that's not part of a PLA integration, that can be added to the form as well. And then the fielder is gonna walk away from the poll to take the Ike photo, which I'm gonna show you um, in the back office in a minute here. It's a really important part of our process. They're gonna line it up and take that calibrated image there. That image is gonna allow us to measure all the heights of attachment on that pole. But all that magic happens in the back office. The fielder is not worried about collecting any heights when they're out in the field. And then finally, they're just gonna capture the bearing on the anchor here. If there's any equipment, they would collect that as well, but this pole doesn't have um, any equipment attached. So after collecting the anchor there, that's all that's needed to finish out that collection. Notice how they didn't have to do any wire identification. They didn't have to measure any heights. They simply had to just safely collect some really good photos and get some basic information around the base of the pole. That's fantastic. Yeah, Spencer, I think it's, you know, you kind of you kind of touched on it. You know, the, the forms are configurable. So if it's you know, not like pole foreman that they need to deliver into, but some other downstream pole loading application or some other design tools or systems, you know, all of that's configurable within the Ike office environment. Yeah, exactly. So speaking of the Ike office environment, here we are in Ike office pro. This is what the collection looks like when it comes in straight from the field. So you're going to have this Ike image here and we can start by adding a base marker to it. So I'm just going to put this little tag here right at the base of the pole where the pole meets the ground. And then just to demonstrate what the height process looks like, I can add a tag here and notice how when I go up and down on the pole, the height of that tag is moving to show exactly all the, all the heights on that pole. And in the interest of time here, I'll skip ahead to show what that looks like when it's completed. So you can see all the wires, the equipment, the communication, it's all, been tagged here, and it's been tagged in a way that it's integrating with the pull forming database. So the fielders are using all that information in the database to appropriately tag the pull. And once I go through and I finish my circuit, in this case, I have three pulls that are in this run, I can go ahead and select them all, and then I can export them to Ike Pull Foreman. So to do that, select the pulls, and I'll run the export tool here. That's just going to produce a file that I can open up in the Ike Pole Foreman application. So I navigate over here to Ike Pole Foreman and open up that exported file. And now you can see those three poles are now available for me right here in Pole Foreman. I can click on any of the three different poles and I can see all the attributes. And if I need to change any information, I can do that. But let me show you the 3D view so you can trust that everything came in. All right, so there it is. Those are those polls coming straight from Ike Office. So notice how all the hard work, all the labor was done in Ike Office, and then the exports run. And now I have all that information right here straight to Ike Poll Foreman.
Yeah, that's great. Thanks, Spencer. Um, it really does show, you know, this the the seamless capabilities across the, the Ike stack and the Ike products um, to deliver really a good user experience.